Hello, and welcome to my channel. Thank you all for the 50 subscribers and the views. This series has already hit 40k words. Man, I have written a lot. I don't own any of the Heikaiu characters or music or anything other than the plot. This doesn't in any way describe how the Heikaiu characters act. It is just for fun, so don't take any of this seriously. All of this is happening IRL unless said otherwise. Enjoy. Thinking Bubble represents thoughts. Warning 16 plus content ahead. Oikawa's mom is at work for my convenience. I swear her work schedule is non-existing at the moment. Lol. She is always at work when things get naughty he. Sunday, December 23rd, 2012. It has already been a month since Oikawa started dating both Sugara and me. Iwezumi opens his eyes and gets greeted with Sugara's sleeping face on Oikawa's chest. Iwezumi is sleeping on Oikawa's arm on the other side. I never got the chance to look at Sugara's face. He is so pretty. Iwezumi moves his hand to cup Sugara's face but stops. What was I going to do now? I cannot do that. Sugara and I aren't dating. What the hell? Why did I want to? No, I must be confused. It is probably because we have been spending a lot of time together. That is it. That must be it. Ugh. Iwezumi sits up and looks at Oikawa's smiling face. Good morning, Iwa-chan. Oikawa caresses Iwezumi's cheeks, who leans into Oikawa's touch. Morning. Why are you so grumpy first thing in the morning? It is nothing. Try to sleep some more. It is only five. I cannot sleep anymore. Wanna go on a jog? Yeah. Really? Oikawa screams. You are so loud. Oops. Sorry, Ko-chan. Oikawa kisses Sugara on his forehead, where the latter grips Oikawa's shirt tighter and moves to lay on Oikawa. How are you gonna get out of his grip? Hehe. <laughs> Did Iwa-chan just giggle, or am I hallucinating? Iwezumi just lays back near Oikawa. I guess we have to postpone the job. Why yeah? Did I die? What the hell? Iwezumi bursts out laughing making Sugara grunt, and barely opens his eyes that are still trying to close. Guys, you are so loud. At least allow me to sleep in on Sunday. I am sorry. Ko-chan? Hmm? Can Iwezumi and I go on a jog? Mm. Really? Just let me sleep. Sugara turns around freeing Oikawa from his tight hug. You don't want to join us? No, I want to sleep. Okay. Let's get ready, Iwa-chan. Mm. Iwezumi gets up and starts heading toward the door. Where are you going? Bathroom. Oikawa just points towards his bathroom. Won't you be using that? Yeah. What? We can use it at the same time. Iwezumi's face heats up as the blush spreads to his ears. Hell no. Iwezumi screams before he slams the bedroom door. He leans against the door and places his hand over his chest. Why is my heart beating this fast? Damn it, Shidakawa. After the two are ready, they leave the house quietly, and they start to jog. Oikawa is smiling while Iwezumi is looking at his feet. Finally. Hmm? It is rare for you to allow me to jog in the morning. It is fine on off days. After all, this will be the only exercise we will do. So, it is fine. What? Oikawa whines as he starts jogging backward in front of Iwezumi. You won't let me set for you later. No. But. And you aren't practicing serves either. Ugh. You are no fun. Iwa-chan? Hmm? Can we make breakfast today? You aren't allowed in the kitchen. That is why you are there. Come on, Iwa-chan. Ko-chan always makes us breakfast. Let's prepare something for him for once. Dot. And you know how to cook? Okay. Oikawa pecks Iwezumi on the cheek making light pink surfaces his face. Let's finish our jog before Ko-chan wakes up. All right. After Iwezumi and Oikawa finish their jog, each one of them heads to their homes to take a shower before Iwezumi heads back to Oikawa's place. Why are you still pouting? Because you didn't need to go back home to shower. Iwezumi chuckles as he pulls Oikawa by his waist toward him. While Oikawa just turns his face to the side while still pouting. Why is Toru pouting? Sugara says while stretching and walking towards them. Then he hugs Oikawa from the back and places his head on Oikawa's shoulder, squeezing Oikawa between the two of them. It is nothing. Ah. Then why is my baby pouting, huh? Sugara whispers against Oikawa's neck before he starts sucking on it. M. Ko-chan. Yeah? Please stop. 
Why? B because. Hmm. Iwa Chan, stop rubbing your lower um. Iwezumi smashes his lips against Oikawa's lips, making him moan into the kiss. Stop. I am serious, both of you stop. Oikawa says once Iwezumi releases his lips, which makes both of them freeze. Okay. Yeah. I. Oikawa runs toward the bathroom once they free him from their embrace. Iwezumi and Sugara glance at each other before they follow Oikawa. D do you think we overdid it? I think so. Iwezumi knocks on the bathroom door. Oikawa? Yes. Oikawa screams from the inside. Can we come in? Absolutely not. Why don't you prepare breakfast in the meantime? What are you doing? Ugh. None of your business. Can you two now please leave? Are you sure you are fine? Yes. I'm sorry if we overdid it. Yeah, I am sorry. We didn't mean it. Ugh. It is fine. Don't worry. It is nothing like that. Okay. Sugara? I'm not convinced. Me neither. Oh. What? Did you come in your pants? Silence means yes. S shut up. Oh. All right, we will leave you. About an hour has passed, and Iwezumi and Sugara have finished preparing breakfast. But Oikawa still hasn't shown up. I will talk to him. Iwezumi nods as Sugara leaves the room. Sugara walks toward the bathroom but finds it open. Titoru? Sugara glances inside but doesn't find anyone, so he walks toward Oikawa's bedroom and suddenly stops. Sugara immediately barges into the room and hugs Oikawa. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Because. You didn't do anything wrong. Then why are you sitting here alone? Sugara says as he pulls Oikawa onto his lap. I, I am just embarrassed. Sugara cups Oikawa's face as Oikawa melts into the touch. But if we ever overdo it. Ugh. You didn't. Don't worry. I am capable of stopping you if I am uncomfortable. Alright. Do you want to eat with us? Oikawa nods before both of them stand up. Wash your face before we go so you won't worry Iwezumi. Oikawa? Don't look at me like that. I swear I am fine. I just got embarrassed. Are you sure? Yes. Oikawa hugs Iwezumi tightly, who hugs him back. Yes, I am very sure. Now, let's go eat. Okay. After the three boys finish eating and getting ready, they sit comfortably on the living room couch. Oikawa sits between the two while holding their hands, and Sugara leans his head on Oikawa's shoulder. What do you want to do today, loves? Ugh. Don't call me that, Oikawa. Not before you start calling me Toru. Not before we get married. Are you proposing? Where is my ring? Ugh. Not now. Huh? Oikawa pouts, making Iwezumi peck his tiny pout as Sugara just enterweens his fingers and Oikawa's. So, what are we doing since we aren't getting married? I don't know. What do you want to do, Sugara? I don't know either. Can we practice? No. No. Both of them say in union. Eh? Wasn't today supposed to be Sugara's day? Since he won't be with us on Christmas. Yet. Yeah. But I didn't plan anything. It is fine. Hanging with you will be enough. But. I said it is fine as long as I am with the two of you. Sugara places his hand over Iwezumi's and Oikawa's intertwined hands. Iwezumi's face heats up, and he turns to the side, which makes Oikawa raise an eyebrow at him, but he doesn't comment. W why don't we do something Sugara always wanted to do but never did? Hmm. Dot. We can stay home. Come on, Ko-chan. I want to make a fortress to watch all the Christmas movies while eating pizza. Okay. Oikawa says excitedly as he hops up. First, we need to do a scavenger hunt for all the pillows in the house. That. Your mom will get so pissed. Oikawa smiles. Good thing she won't be home until 27. I have a weird feeling telling me you won't clean it up. Maybe we shouldn't after all. I will tidy up. I promise you, I will make him do it. You are tidying up with me. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's start. If you are a pillow, your new home is in my room. Oikawa screams as he grabs seven pillows of the couch. He takes two steps before the pillows start to fall from his hands. No, they are escaping. Iwezumi and Sugara burst out laughing, as Sugara grabs the pillows from the floor. I caught them, they cannot escape anymore. 
Iwayzumi just shakes his head as a smile creeps on his face before he grabs the rest of the pillows and walks to Oikawa's room. Oikawa was already grabbing the pillows from his parents' rooms while Sugara is bringing the pillows from his room. Iwa-chan? Hm? Go to your house and throw your pillows into my room through the window. I, I'm not doing that. Come on, the more pillows the better. Ugh. Oikawa approaches Iwayzumi and whispers in his ear. Please, Hajime-kun. Iwayzumi's face heats up as he stumbles while rushing out of Oikawa's house. Hehe. <laughs> Don't tease Iwayzumi. It is my payback for teasing me in the morning. Don't get jealous, Ko-chan. I am going to tease you too. I am just making a perfect plan. He. Should I be worried? Yes. Oikawa says in a whisper as he approaches Sugara. Sugara starts walking backward until he hits a wall. Oikawa grabs both of Sugara's hands and pins them over Sugara's head with one hand as he starts to lick his jawline. T Toru. Hm? Please stop. Oikawa slips his hand under Sugara's shirt while pushing a leg between Sugara's legs. Toru? Oikawa smirks before he catches Sugara's lips, and he slips his tongue into Sugara's open mouth. MM. Oikawa starts rubbing Sugara's nipple with his finger as he deepens the kiss. Sugara starts rubbing himself against Oikawa's leg. MM. Oi, Shidakawa. Where the hell are you? Oikawa reach reads his face while patting. We should stop. Oikawa releases Sugara's hands and steps away. Sugara immediately runs to the bathroom with his face tomato red. Hehe. <laughs> Shidakawa. Yes. Oikawa runs to his room with a smirk still on his face. Where the hell did you go? Nowhere now throw me your pillows. Iwayzumi throws a pillow straight into Oikawa's face. Iwa-chan, mean. What did you do to poor Sugara? Nothing. Oikawa sings while smiling innocently. I smell a lie with that disgusting smile. Iwayzumi threw another pillow into Oikawa's face. Iwa-chan, are you planning to throw them all into my face? Yes. Iwayzumi answers and smacks another pillow into Oikawa, but Oikawa manages to catch it before it reaches his face. H.A., caught it. Another pillow lands on Oikawa's face before he manages to finish his sentence. Ugh. Oikawa grabs a pillow and throws it at Iwayzumi, making the latter laugh. Wait, don't throw them back here. I will take these three pillows with me back there. Iwayzumi chuckles as he closes the window once he sees Oikawa ready to throw another pillow back at him. Ugh. Oikawa leaves the pillow on the floor and walks toward the bathroom Sugara is in before knocking on the door. Are you done dealing with your little problem? S shut up. Oikawa chuckles as he walks towards the entrance to open the door for Iwayzumi. Where is Sugara? In the bathroom, he. Ugh. Iwayzumi walks away from Oikawa into the bedroom, ignoring Oikawa, who is skipping behind him. Come on, don't ignore me, Iwa-chan. Sugara walks into the room with his face still beat red. Oikawa glances at Sugara before he smiles. Since all of us are here, how do you plan on building the fortress? Iwayzumi doesn't reply but just shrugs. On the other hand, Sugara walks toward Oikawa and hugs him from the side making Oikawa smile fondly at him and hug him back. We can put your mattress on the floor and build our fortress around it. But that won't fit all of us. I will get Sugara's mattress and blanket here too. Okay. Oikawa kisses Sugara on top of his head before ruffling his hair and walking to his bed. After the three boys finish building the fortress, they order pizza and spend the next five hours watching movies. Sugara is the first person to fall asleep between the three boys while snuggling with Oikawa. Oikawa continues to attentively watch the movie's ending while stroking Sugara's hair. Iwayzumi, on the other hand, was watching the two boys closely, completely ignoring the movie. That was an intense ending. Iwa-chan? Oi, Iwa-chan. Oikawa caresses Iwayzumi's cheek catching him off guard, which makes him flinch before he rubs his face into Oikawa's palm. What's wrong? And nothing. Are you hiding anything from me again? I it isn't like that. I want to tell you, but I don't know where to start. The beginning? Ugh. Or the end? Or the middle? Are you serious? What I am trying to say is, start however you want. Don't think just slap me with the news. 
Iwezumi lets out a deep breath before he rushes out. I think I have feelings for Sugara. Huh? Repeat that but slowly. I think I have feelings for Sugara. Oikawa stays silent, not processing what Iwezumi just said. When what Iwezumi said finally sinks in Oikawa's head, Oikawa jumps while screaming. What? Eh. What happened? Why are you being noisy, Toru? It. Hmm. I I'm sorry. Oikawa lies down near Sugara again and covers the three of them with the blankets from the fallen fortress. I am so sorry, my angel. Try to sleep again, you have a long day ahead of you tomorrow. Hmm. Sugara cuddles into Oikawa's side and places his head on Oikawa's chest. Oikawa starts rubbing Sugara's back slowly making Sugara drift into fast sleep. What did you say? Iwezumi lets out a sigh before repeating slowly what he just said again. Oikawa's grin grows bigger and bigger with each word Iwezumi says before he freezes. Oikawa? Can I ask you as something? Yes. Iwezumi answers while raising an eyebrow. W what about me? I. I still like you too. Oikawa lets out a sigh he doesn't know he is holding. After a few seconds, Oikawa smiles at Iwezumi before he grabs his hand. So, what do you wanna do? And nothing. Why? I don't deserve to confess to him. What do you mean? Iwa-chan, what do you mean by you don't deserve to confess to him? As it actually means. I just don't deserve even to have feelings for him. What are you talking about? After everything, I said to him. He acts now as if nothing happened. But I still think of every single word I uttered to him the day we started dating. I was horrible for no reason. If I was in his place and he treated me like this. I wouldn't have allowed you to date him. Ko Chan was scared. Scared? He was afraid that if he refused, I would dump him. He allowed it even if he didn't want to. And this proves more what I am saying. I don't have the right to have feelings for him after what I said. But. But nothing. It is all my fault. I was an idiot. I only saw Sugara as an obstacle that needs to be removed. And if this obstacle gets removed, I can finally have you. I didn't even consider Sugara's feelings. All I was thinking about was you. I am horrible. Iwa-chan, come here, cuddle me. Iwezumi lets out a sigh, and he moves to Oikawa's other side and places his head on Oikawa's chest. Iwezumi moves closer to Sugara on Oikawa's chest making their faces a few inches apart. What you said was awful. You even made it sound like he wasn't enough for me. Moreover, you belittled my feelings for him too. I. Do you realize that if we were dating before I met Ko-chan, I would have fallen for him regardless? Are you aware of this? Yes. Oikawa lets out a sigh. Listen, Iwa-chan. I am not waiting for an apology from you, but. I have to apologize to Sugara. Yes. If it wasn't for the rule Sugara put, I wouldn't have allowed you to talk to him before you apologized. I will apologize. Don't. Unless you mean it. I want to apologize. Good, then confess. What? I mean, if he accepts your apology, then confess. I, I cannot do that. Why? Cause I cannot. I am not confessing to him after I heard him this much. What if he likes you back? That is impossible. It is not. Like you fell for him, he could fall for you too. Come on, just confess. I won't. If he likes me, then he must confess first. What? Really? Yes, don't look at me like this. I am not confessing to him first, and that is final. I am going to say it is fine. But just for now. So don't think you are escaping this topic. Okay, fine, do whatever you want. That won't change a thing. We will see. Iwezumi smiles sadly as he watches Sugara breathe steadily. Iwezumi then brushes some fallen hair from Sugara's face while Oikawa smiles at the scene. He is the prettiest man I have laid eyes on. You are prettier. But he is an angel. And have an angelic smile. Yet. Yeah. What about my smile? Iwezumi chuckles and looks up into Oikawa's eyes. Well, it depends. What do you mean? It can be pretty. Ah. Disgusting sometimes. What? Iwezumi smiles amusedly. 
but other times it is adorable. That isn't fair. Well, I hate seeing your fake smiles. But sometimes you need them. Well not in front of me. I will try. Iwezumi smiles at Oika before he pecks his cheek. I love this mole under his eye. I know, right? He is just so precious. Yup. Iwa-chan? Hmm? What made you fall for him? Can, can I say everything about him? Oika smirks as he caresses Sugara's cheek. I understand. As he cares for others, he always puts people before himself. He is so gentle and nice to everyone yet chaotic at the same time. And we can always trust him to have our backs if we were in trouble. Sugara suddenly grunts and tightens his grip on Oika's shirt. Oika starts to rub Sugara's back gently, making Sugara relax. You cannot just know him and not fall for him immediately. We should be careful in the future. Hmm? We will have a lot of competition. Why the sad smile? Why you are talking as if I am in a relationship with him too? Or even deserve him? You deserve him. I don't think so. Ugh, I am not starting this convo again. But, but nothing. You did something wrong, you will apologize. Everyone makes mistakes. But some mistakes cannot be reversed. You are right. But it is up to Sugara now. Whether to forgive you or not. The damage has been done. All you can do now is ask for his forgiveness. I, I am sorry. I didn't mean to have an outburst. You aren't wrong though. Oika lets out a loud sigh, making Sugara turn in his sleep away from Oika's embrace. But you know what? Hm? For some reason, I feel like the three of us will end up being a thruple. Thruple? Yeah? What does that even mean? All of us are in one relationship. I don't know, I feel like that is what will happen. I hope so. Yeah. For now, let's sleep so we can have an early morning with Ko-chan before he heads to Karasuno. Yeah. Iwa-chan? Hmm? You didn't give me my goodnight kiss. Iwezumi lets out a chuckle before he pecks Oika's lips, but when he tries to pull away, Oika grabs the back of Iwezumi's head to deepen the kiss. MM. Iwezumi lets out a loud moan into Oika's lips as Oika licks Iwezumi's upper lip. We should know. Oika manages to slip his tongue into Iwezumi's mouth. Iwezumi moans get louder as Oika tastes each corner of Iwezumi's mouth until Iwezumi takes control and makes Oika a moaning mess. Few seconds later, Iwezumi finally pulls away from Oika while both pant heavily. I like you so much, Toru. Iwezumi says before he pecks Oika's swollen lips again. I like you too, Hajime. That is it for today guys I hope you all enjoyed.